from the 43. First down Atlanta as Vic sets up the screen to Warwick. Dunn and Dunn has a first down and a good start for Atlanta. Back to back first downs into Green Bay territory. They'll spot it at the 39 yard line tackled by Hardy Nickerson. You know the great thing about Michael Vick is he, he runs so well and so fast that that all defenses watch on this side how they wait and they wait to see what he's going to do because they're afraid he's going to take off with the ball. So that really makes that defense in the pack in style except for the fact they can't stop the run the opposition averaging 4.6 yards per carry and the pass here is caught by Brian Finneran who's become their go to guy. Fourth year man out of Villanova and Finner is taken down at close to the 20 yard line by Mike McKenzie. And this is what Mike Vick has to do. And, and, and he has to settle down early and he looks settled down early. Again, it helps when you get some running game going. It helps when you get the screen pass going. And then watch his protection here. You see, he has a perfect pocket that he can just look, find his receiver, and step up and make that throw. But I think it all started with the running game and that screen pass and getting this defense off balance for the Packers. Vick spreading him out, out of the gun on third down and two. Pressure put on up the middle, but he escapes that. Coming this way, looking to run, picks up the first down. Picks up the first down and takes a cameraman down with him and then checks on him and wants to bring him to his feet. Not ours. Yeah, that's such a tough thing when you have have a guy like Michael Vick who who runs and and runs faster than anyone else on the field. I mean the Packers know that if, if he gets outside they don't have anyone unless they have the perfect angle on him that can catch him. And you see they want to rush from his right side thinking that every time he runs it's to his left side. And watch Bobby be a Melissa. See he takes an inside move. Now when he takes that inside move Vic sees it and he goes to the outside even though it is his right side. From the 16 now looks like a college play here. Rolling out to his left, seeking room, not much there, but still turns it into about a four-yard gain, and then gets dumped out of bounds, pushed out of bounds by Matt Bowen. Now from the 10-yard line. Great protection for Vic. Slings it over the middle. It's caught for a touchdown by Sean Jefferson. And so the Falcons, who don't score a single opening drive touchdown in 16 regular season games, come into Green Bay and roll 76 yards in five minutes and 43 seconds. And you were right, Al. Did he sling this? Look at the pass protection there. Perfect pocket for him. He just stepped up and boom. He took that thing right out there. Here's Sean Jefferson. He's on McKenzie. And you see him run across. It's against the three. We came in here to make history. From the 37. Caught. Close to a first down by Brian Finneran, who gets pushed back by Tyrone Williams. Final minute of the period. The Falcons, as we take a look at them, last in the playoffs in 98 when they went to the Super Bowl. And they had that eight game unbeaten streak, seven wins, and a tie against Pittsburgh in the middle of the year. Lost here in overtime on opening day, but they were the last team to win a game here last season. And three players this year with 500 or more rushing yards from the 31 yard line as Vic gets pressured. They set up a screen to Dunn, who has room to wriggle free in 11 now from the 22 yard line. And it's tipped in the air, and then a great break as Algie Crumpler, the tight end, makes the catch after Cletius Hunt gets the car. Saw that. It would have been Green Bay ball. Second and seven. Vic. How do you stop him? How do you? First and ten at the 46. Swing it out to Dunn. Right, and if there was a quarterback that he always wanted to emulate, it was Steve Young, and he has a lot of the same tools that Steve Young had, including this. Yep. What they call the old escapability. <laughs> to the 28 yard line, turns a loss into a big gain as Kabir Baja Biamila couldn't knock him down. It winds up as a 10 yard gain. You know, that's, that's the thing, and that was the thing that Mike Sherman was talking about. You know, is you could do everything right and still be wrong. Baja Biamila has, has control of it, he has containment. He has everything. Michael Vick just makes it great, straightens out his face mask, gets his helmet back on right, and then goes back the other way. 
He takes the four. Vic throws, caught, one yard line, first down. Now they're starting to. Offside against Green Bay, and that's going to be close to a first down here. So Vic in the first half, 73 yards through the air. Dunn with 45 yards on the ground, and Finneran was the leading receiver with three grabs. Of the night against Green Bay from the 33 yard line. Vic flings it, caught over the middle. It's Brian Finneran. You know, we're talking about Duckett, John. I'm, I'm thinking about that, that. Spread it out on third down from the gun, third and three. Four man Packer rush. Vic opening through the middle. There he goes into Green Bay territory to the 38 yard line. It's amazing, but I think it's that same thing. I think they 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 worry. They all want to stay in their rush lanes. They all want to you know you know keep containment on him. They want to keep in under control. But if you just give him a little gap, he's just going to run right through it. Now watch this. I mean, here's their four rushers: one, two, three, four. And you see, they all have nice control. They all have everything under control. And then he just fakes to the right, and that opens up the middle, and then he takes it in the middle. I don't know. If you say, how would you defend them? I don't know how. Second and seven from the 20 yard line. Done. Inside the 15, inside the 10. Forced out by Bowen. It'll be first down and goal. And Atlanta answering that Green Bay drive, that critical Green Bay drive, with a big drive of their own. And watch this pass rush. I don't know if these guys are just worried about what Michael Vick is going to do or if they're just tired. But they're sure that they're going to stay in this game. Third and get in this game. <laughs> right. Vic to the five yard line. So they they're going to stay in this game. Third and get in this game. <laughs> right. Vic to the five yard line. So they can't get it in, and Feely will come out to try to tack on three. It was interesting talking to Michael Vic last night. Second and nine from the 36 yard line. Vic. They can't take him down. Until he picks up about five as Vic to the air throws. It's caught by Trevor Gaylord, who has it from the 40 yard line. Vic. Nope. Forget about getting him. Forget about chasing him. And then finally, Wayne shoves him out of bounds. At the controls, twisting the dials. Mark Teitelman, our replay producer, and the gang all heading to San Diego along with. Val Fischler, the musical tease specialist, Big Gordo, Mike Martin, Jeff Dufine, our associate producers, and the whole gang heading to Southern California. So great work, ladies and gentlemen, on the crew. In fact,